In the past couple years, TikTok has taken over the short form video game. With so many users on the app, it's important to make your video stand out from the rest. And what's the best way of doing that? Well, to create high quality videos. I've had so many people ask how I post the high quality TikToks I post, how TikTok doesn't compress my videos, and so I thought I would show you how exactly I export my videos to post at the highest quality. So let's dive into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how I create and export my videos. If you don't have Final Cut and you're doing this on Premiere Pro, it's a little different, so I'll leave a video in the description to a tutorial I made for Premiere Pro. The video says Instagram Reels, but it works for TikTok as well. However, I still recommend watching this video because there's still some stuff you need to ensure you're doing after you export your video. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new library by going up to file, new library, name the library, whatever you want and save it wherever you want. For making TikToks, I usually do everything inside of one library. And so because we already have a library created, we're going to go ahead and skip creating one and go up to file, new project and start a new project. After you click on create new project, we're going to go ahead and make some changes to our project settings. Name the project whatever you want. We'll name this TikToks, but the real settings that we care about is everything but the project name. Where it says video format, we're going to select vertical and then we're going to go to resolution and change that from 720 by 1280 to 1080 by 1920. That is the resolution most social media platforms recommend we post at. As for frame rate, TikTok recommends 30 frames per second, but I haven't actually noticed a difference after posting. So because I usually film in 24 frames per second on my camera, Camera, I set the rate to 23.98p. Then for the codec, I leave this on Apple ProRes 422. If it's not already selected, change it to that. As for color space, I change this from Rec 601 to Rec 709. It's a newer color space than 601. And after that, I leave my audio channel on stereo and my sample rate at 48 kilohertz. After you make all those setting adjustments, click OK. Now this is where you want to add in your clips and start editing. Remember that the higher quality your videos are, the better results. I made a similar video a couple years ago and I remember someone asking why their video doesn't look better after posting. And after asking them to send me their videos so I can take a look at it, the video was taken on an old Android phone with a resolution less than 720p. The video was so pixelated. So I feel like I have to say it, this process won't make your low quality videos better. This video is assuming you already have a high quality video. Every time you post it, it looks pixelated and you wanna make it so it doesn't get compressed by TikTok after posting. Now, once your project is created, you should have a blank timeline. So I'm actually just gonna go over to my other project file and grab my TikTok clips from my latest TikTok I just posted and I'm just gonna paste them in so you guys can see what we're talking about. So this is actually a TikTok I posted this week and you can see it's already edited and ready to post. I film all my TikToks with the USR and I actually don't film at 4K, only 1080p. But once you have your video all edited and ready to go, you wanna go up to export up here at the very top and click on export file. Once we're in the export window, you wanna name the video whatever you want. So we'll just name this spend $1,000 and then you want to go over to our settings tab. I set my format to video and audio and then my video codec to H.264. You don't want anything like Apple ProRes for just a TikTok video. I found the best results with H.264 so set it to H.264. Make sure your resolution and color space are the same as we originally set for our project settings, which they almost always will be. Audio format will most likely be AAC. Then for action, it doesn't really matter what this is set to. I have this on save only, and this is basically if you want an app to play the video when it's finished exporting. If you switch the format from video and audio to something like Apple devices, you have a lot more options like faster encode or better quality, but this is all unnecessary. Just leave it set to video and audio. Once that's done, click next and save it to your desktop or wherever you want. And there we go, we exported our video. Now what we do with this video from now until we post is important to ensure it looks the exact same as it did in Final Cut Pro. The only way I recommend transferring this file over to your phone is through AirDrop if you have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, you can transfer using Google Drive, but I've always noticed a small reduction in quality when using Google Drive. 
After that video is transferred to your phone, don't edit, change, or do anything to that video. Upload it to TikTok, add a sound if you want, and this is the most important part. You wanna click on more options, then turn on allow high quality uploads. This is so your video gets posted at the highest quality. After that, click post and you should have a much higher quality video that wasn't compressed by TikTok. In my experience, after posting hundreds of videos to TikTok, anytime that you add text or stickers to your video within the TikTok app, the quality gets destroyed. This is why I add all my text, emojis, and stickers right in Final Cut Pro. To make this more clear, the last time you should make any edits to your video, whether that be color or text, should be in Final Cut Pro. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see what you create. If you have any issues, drop a comment down below. Leave a like if you found this video useful. Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching.